stick the cue ball. Yeah, yeah. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dynamite Drill sponsored by Q World and today I've got a nice little 10 ball drill. It's not too easy and not too hard so anyone can sort of have a go at it. Uh, and the key to the drill, as, as you can see here, I've got two blocks of five. We're gonna go in rotation. Uh, but what I like about the drill is that you have to rotate between going uh, uh, up table to down table and back and forth. So uh, you go in rotation. The only really big rules really is that you start with ball in hand and you can't bump another ball. So that's so that that is the key to the drill. But it's a drill where you gotta really keep your focus and concentration and think about what is the best way and the best percentage to get onto the next ball. So the big first two shots really is the uh, key to the drill, the one to the two. Uh, and once you get that shot right, and you, if, if you get good shape on the two ball, you're supposed to get out. But it's one of them drills where you've got to keep your focus like any game you play. Sometimes it looks too easy, but you have to stay in the moment, play the right patterns, uh, and if you do that, it'll really help you in them real life situations. So it's an easy drill to set up, a uh, nice little drill. We'll give it a go and I'll talk you through what I'm gonna do. Right, so let's give it a go guys. So start with ball in hand. And the first shot's really the, the key shot to the old rack. It's the most difficult shot in the old rack. So I'd, I've seen a lot of amateurs in this type of situation where the, they'll uh, put the ball here and just try and stun down like just one rail, but the problem with that, it's very hard to avoid it in the four, the eight, or if you're going uh, this this way, the six and the nine. So the best way to avoid traffic here is, is uh, in my my case here, I'm gonna make the one ball in this pocket here, just play with a touch of right, and I want the white ball to hit this first diamond here, or just after, and just float it down between the two and the four, and hopefully come where, somewhere around there. If, if I do that, even in a real match situation, I might even get lucky and bump the four and, and, and uh, still be on the two. Uh, but for this drill, when we are not allowed to bump any balls. So let's give it a go. So just a touch of right. So I played about, about, about a tip of right under English there, just with a bit of follow. So nice on the two ball. So there, just play the touch of uh, left, just to straighten that cue ball up. Again, like I sort of want to avoid it in two rails unless I have to. I could make the free ball come off the top rail and the side rail. It's a little bit dangerous because you, you could overspin it, maybe just flick the five there, or if you underspin it, you can scratch. So I'm just going to keep it simple. Just play follow with a touch of left. I'm playing about half a tip of left there. Same, same again, I'm just going to keep it very simple. Same shot as previous. Just, just check that cue ball. Same again here, I'm just going to play the same shot. Again, like, I'm just trying to keep the white ball in the middle of the table now. Obviously, with this situation here, I try and get a little bit closer to the rail, but I don't want to be anywhere near the rail. So there, just play follow, just with a trace of right, so maybe a quarter tip of uh, right there. And again, just keeping the white ball away from the rail. So now I just want to guarantee those ang angles now. So there, just... Uh, just bottom of the cue ball, just a fraction of left. Don't need to play with any side if you don't want to. Just time that ball nice and easy. Same again here, just gonna play bottom of the white ball, just with a fraction of right. Just my personal preference really to play that way, uh, but you don't need to. Left a little bit more angle on the nine ball in than what I would have liked. So you've got 
two options. You can make it with a lot of top right, go two rails. But if I was playing this shot, I'd play with bottom right and just spin it around that way. Or you can just go one rail and back across. And I think that's probably the, the most common way to play the shot. So there, just play just a touch of uh, left, and just just below centre of the white ball, and just put a nice a nice stroke on it. Don't try and hit it too hard. So here, just a bit of bottom right, and just kill it. Just killed it. Just makes the pocket a lot bigger playing that way. Where if I try and play that ten ball, the the money ball quite firm and hard then obviously you're a lot you have a you have a lot more chance of missing the ball so uh nice little drill S simple if you play the right patterns if you don't play the right patterns then it can give you a headache uh, but again it will really improve your uh, your general game all aspects of your game and uh, it's a nice little drill and an easy drill to set up so i hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time Thank you.